welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and this is The Groom. And we have the midweek movie with The Groom, and it is... Sleepaway Camp. The latest installation in movies she thinks I should watch, so I give him a chance. And we'll see if I actually like this one. Sleepaway Camp is a 1983 slasher film, considered a cult classic now. It's written and directed by Robert Hiltzik. <laughs> I had to read that, that's not a easy name. Um, you love this movie. I do love this movie. And our friend Chase loves these movies. You both have been t- watching. You need to well, see. Well, like Sleep anyone Away that Camp. that is a fan of the genres, like you, you gotta watch this. Movie. And every time I tell people I love slasher films, they're like, "Oh, you gotta watch Sleep Away Camp." So, finally caved and we watched Sleep Away Camp. So, what's the movie about? So the movie does start with a family outing in a boat, which unfortunately there is some death that occurs, then cut to present day 1983. Eight years later. Eight years later. Eight years <laughs> later. Um, a boy and his cousin are going off to sleepaway camp. As the story progresses, we see the cuzzo getting bullied a whole lot. She's very quiet, very shy. And people kind of don't know just, how to take that. Yeah, they don't know how to take that, and then they act re- react really aggressively. She does take a liking to one of her cousin's friends, and they hang out a little bit. And his best friend. His best friend. They've known each other for three years. Through camp. Not through camp, so they only see each other. Best friend at camp. <laughs> best camp friend. And the killing does ensue. And it kind of leads you on this whole quest of, is it this person? Is it that person? However... As it is spoiler-free, we're not going to give anything away. No spoilers for the 35-year-old movie. None. <laughs> this movie is actually older than you. Yes. <laughs> and we're not going to talk about how old I am. All right, so... What were your likes? I... The thing I love the most about this movie, it is so 80s. Oh, yeah. It is so incredibly 80s. The way people talk, what they wore... The short shorts were amazing. The shortest of shorts. <laughs> the accents were so great. The the language of like this film was actually made in nineteen eighty three and you can tell it was made in the eighties. And that's what I just love, like the cheesiness of this. Oh yeah. I loved that. I I rather much rather enjoyed that. Bravo. What did you like? I enjoyed that the killings that did happen were all like really camp activity related. <laughs> so I appreciated that. It all kind of kept it, you know, in the theme. Um, my favorite decade of horror has to be 80s because it's just so good. It was the best. And this this does not disappoint. I never really had the experience of a sleepaway camp. Probably if I watched this I movie didn't. around that kind of time. I don't know that I would want to go, but... I went away to camp and I loved it. And that brought back a some a little nostal- little nostalgic feeling for me. There weren't as many murders when I went to camp, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, bonus likes that we both liked were I'll let you do the first one because you loved this. Well, I have two. No, no, no. Say the fir- the first the my first, first bonus, bonus like is the uh, police officer <laughs> has the worst fake mustache I've ever seen. Like literally, just like straight off of his face. And when they do a tighter shot of his face, you can see how fake it is. It looks like two pieces of electrical tape taped With, down like, on his eyelashes face. stuck to it. <laughs> and it was like a really dramatic part in the movie, and they do a tight shot, and I'm like, dear God, look at his mustache. It's so bad. The other one, and we both love this, was the random workout shots. The guys in the background, like you have the two people in the foreground with the really dramatic... What They're could like it this. be? What is it? Da, da, da. And then in the background, you see this guy's just like doing like iron yes. butterflies with two dumb dumbbells ra- and it's randomly. The like really muscular guy that's <laughs> always wearing a shirt the about weird. powerlifting or gyms, and he's just like, "Oh, what? What's going on? Who is bullying you, Angela?" He, oh, oh, oh. he could have been the first bro in that history. He, um, mm-hmm. number one bro, he, alpha OG. bro, <laughs> alpha the bro. alpha bro. <laughs> yes. Um, bonus. Another bonus. Like, cause I'd love, I'd love this, I'd love this movie. I'm really happy that that we actually that we actually watched this movie. 
another bonus like for 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 me, which we're not gonna obviously say it is the ending was amazing. Yes, please pay attention to the whole movie, but oh especially my, the ending. The 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 ending made me go back in my mind to the entire movie and I'm like, oh, that's why and then that's why and then it just makes you go, that's why all this all these little things happen throughout the movie and you realize because of the ending it makes you go back and go, Oh it kind of like hereditary did. When the the ending of hereditary made you go back Maybe you want to go back to the movie and go. Now all this other stuff makes sense, and I feel like that's what it, what it, what it did for uh, me. Oh, another bonus like of mine was because this was his first time watching this. When the ending's coming up, I pretty much just turned and watched his reaction, <laughs> which was priceless. I <laughs> think a real big WTF, mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, it was, it it was it was, it was really a good. good. Time. I liked I liked a lot about this movie, except for except for there was one thing I really didn't like, and that goes into the dislike, the over dramatic mom, <laughs> and it wasn't even her terrible acting, it was the she was such a bad actress that she only knew how to she be dramatic with one pose. She was like, oh, I don't think that would be good. Oh, I don't know. And it was annoying because she kept doing the same thing, the same man mannerism over and over again. And it was like driving me crazy. Like the scenes with her, I was like, oh my God, not this, not this lady again. <laughs> um, your dislike. My dislike, there was this random cutaway to the, the aforementioned family in the beginning that had the tragedy with the twins and their dad, and they're watching... Alright, so it's the twins, like, peeking into their dad's room, and he's laying in bed just caressing this other dude, which is fine, but, like, why did you... Why did you throw it in there? Because, It seems like, like a plot point that was... It was, seems like something that's just thrown in there, but seemed, never expanded yeah, on. It didn't... You didn't really need it to... Like, it's fine, but... Yeah, for it's... a girl not to be receptive to a guy, like, wanting to, like... Go to her. first base, I guess it is, or is that I don't know baseball, but you know what I mean. Like for a girl not to Bunting. be into that, she doesn't need to like have a weird backstory reason. She could just be like, no, not ready, not really into that dude. Like maybe could yeah. we not? It was uh yeah. It was... And then they never talked about it again. That's the like, thing what? that bothered me the most. What? They put that little scene in there, and, and then, then they never talked it. about it again. That was it. It was... I was like, wait. What? <sighs> what? All right. Like, wait, wait. It was just like... <laughs> I don't get it. It's like the scene in Fight Club where he just puts the random scene in the movies. The random porn scene in the movies at the theater. Oh. <laughs> I mean, maybe. That's like, that's what I thought. I was like, what is this? Stuff? And and it's, it's so much further down the line in the movie... It just, it's so out of place. And, like, I kind of forgot what her dad looked like at that point, so I was like, who are these guys? <laughs> That's what I, at first I was like, what? How'd they get in there? I was like, I was like, are those two, like, counselors? <laughs> Me? <laughs> but, alright, so, how overall would, how would you rating. Rate it? I give it a four. Uh, it jumped from a three to a four to me because of the, that shock value ending. Yeah. It was so good. Um... So it, it jumped to a full, like you know it's it is what it is. It's amazing. It's it such it a is movie. what it is. It is an '80s slasher film, and on the regular scale of a, on the movie scale, it's a four out of five. But if you want to, th- this goes up there with uh, with the great '80s sla- slasher movies because this is the, your formula for a good '80s slasher. You got to have some cheesy stuff in there. Some pretty good, like the kills could have been better. I there, the it, kills were pretty. No, good. no, the kills were good, but it could have been a little more gory, a little more practical effects. You know, the first one with the cook was amazing. Um, those were, I, I feel like they blew the practical effect budget right there. It's like, and now we have to leave everything up to. <laughs> we have no more effects makeup. <laughs> <laughs> we used it all on that dude who deserved it. Um. But yeah, I definitely give it a four out of five. I enjoyed the movie. 
you know, it was like the first 15, 20, 30 minutes of it. I was like, eh, getting a little bored. And then it picked up real, real, real well for me. All right. What did uh, you rate it? I give it a solid 3.5 out of 5. I love this movie. I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of slasher movies, but this movie had such an interesting twist on it. And the way it kind of like kept developing throughout kept me really interested, kept me really engaged. And obviously that, that shock value, mm. I was like, whoa, but <laughs> I felt like some of the, the gore was good. I mean, obviously, you know, there's other eighties movies that have better gore, yeah. but this was good. And there was this one part, not going to spoil who it was, but this guy gets shot with an arrow. <laughs> and his reaction is, there's no blood. I was like, I he gets there was shot no blood. in the neck right here. Yeah. And there's no blood. I was like, I, he, it was like the most confusing. Well, like a lot of blood vessels are on the side. So. <laughs> he was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love this movie. I, I I had a gr- I had a great time. We actually we found it. It's on Amazon Prime right now. We're actually uploading the video right after we're done. So if you're watching this, you can go watch it right now on Amazon Prime. Um, it obviously has physical DVD copy. I couldn't find somewhere that had it on Blu-ray, so I imagine there it isn't on blue Blu-ray. I, it, it has to it, be. They they haven't remade everything onto Blu-ray yet. Um, but. Uh, you know, there's a lot of physical copies out there. It is a cult classic. There's random streaming. You know, you can find this movie anywhere a lot of times for, uh, you know, if you already have a subscription service, it's usually on there. Yeah. Apparently, this is a trilogy. Because they're Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3. Mm-hmm. And my buddy Chase says, I need to watch 2 because it's the best one. So <laughs> maybe for next week's mid- midweek movie with the groom... Maybe we'll watch Sleepaway Camp too. We just have to find it first. Stay tuned for the exciting sequel. Um, so, where can the kids find you? You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And those of you who message the Facebook page, I have access to it too. I'm talking to you. Awkwardly foreboding. But anyways. You can find me, as always, on Repeat Groom Ray. That's on Twitter. You can also find me on Twitch, playing video games with my friends, having fun, <laughs> at Repeat Ray Animator. All one word. Um, Come follow me. You know, we're grinding towards a Twitch fi- affiliate, trying to get, you know, trying to get spawns, trying to get spawns, get free vi- video games. That would be great, man. Save me some money. Um, But, you know, we... You talk about random stuff. Zach, Zachary hates. Shout, we shout out to you. He constantly jumps on my uh, Twitch streams, and we talk. We actually talk horror movies while I'm playing video games, which the people who play with me jump into. They're like, "Oh no, wait!" And we actually had a really good conversation the other night about slasher films, actually. Cool. So, um, but yeah, come follow me on Twitter, on Twitch. Follow the repeat. You know, I'd love to have you. Come follow us here. Follow us there. Follow us everywhere. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You'd like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you didn't like the video. Please leave a comment with your thoughts of the film. Do you have any recommendations that you guys would like us to watch or force him to watch? Because I'm pretty much open to anything. I am. We are. We fell upon this. And a struggle to look for a movie for us to watch. So I Because am... every movie I suggested, he's like, eh, <laughs> meh, eh. <laughs> So, but yeah, definitely send us suggestions. I'm open to almost anything. You know, we usually try to do for the midweek newer, newer movies. But this is from ni- 1983, so I'll go back 35 years if it's good enough. And this definitely was. And also, don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of all of my uploads. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Enjoy sleepaway camp. Yes. Watch this movie.